So I'm going to start by reading uh, 2 Chronicles 14, 1 to 6. His, uh, as his life is kind of chronicled, uh, hence the name of the word, uh, the book title. His life is chronicled between chapters 14 and 16. And so I'm going to be going back to those that passage throughout today. Starting at verse 1, it says, When Abijah died, he was buried in the city of David. Then his son Azza became the next king, and there was peace in the land ten, for ten years. Azza did what was pleasing and good in the sight of the Lord. He removed the foreign altars and the pagan shrines. He smashed the sacred pillars and cut down the Asherah poles. He commanded the people of Judah to seek the Lord, the God of their ancestors, and to obey his laws and commands. Azza also removed the pagan shrines as well as the incense altars from every one of Judah's towns. So Azza's kingdom enjoyed a period of peace. And during those peaceful years, he was able to build up fortified towns throughout Judah, and no one tried to make war against him at this time. 